Hey, Shalom. First of all, to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakadash, Yahweh, who the world really calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the world really calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone who has taught me this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the eye camera across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth and risk their life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Low when the video is edifying, low when the eye camera gets some friends of the video. Get a couple of precepts here in Joel, the second chapter, basically going into the day of darkness. You know, and, uh, you know, that that ultimate judgment, which you people, you know, lack understanding in and you people don't fear because you're so comfortable with the way, you know, this this modern day society is ran and the false hopes that it's, you know, that it's giving you, you know what I mean? And it's giving you that, hey, you know what? You don't have to worry. Hey, you know what? You don't have to worry about, you know, uh, 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 you know, any punishment for your actions, you know? It's giving you, you know, <laughs> you know, vain hope, you know, which is going to lead to to destruction, man. You know, and, you know, these, these people, you know, they don't think because you got to think, right? You know, these people have lived and seen their mother and their father, right? They you know, were Christians or they went to church or, you know, they, they, you know, said that they have faith in things of that nature and, you know, nothing happened, right? So these people are seeing it and they're like, oh, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. Right. And even though they might say they believe with their mouth, but with their actions, they're showing that they don't believe. Man, That's why scripture say what I will show you my faith by my works. You have to show faith by your works. How do you know we have faith? Well, we do these videos. We go to the highways and byways. Right. We show that we fear the Lord. Right. We teach his truth and truth and sincerity. Right. The whole truth, regardless of how you feel about it. Right. We don't sugarcoat anything. We don't make things, you know, uh, we don't make things uh, sweet for your ears. All right. Speak, you know, speak smooth things. So, you know, we give it to you straight raw. You know what I mean? Because of what scripture say through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men to grab that terror. Lord, we per. I spoke persuade one. Well, well, this is Second Corinthians five and eleven. It says, "Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and our trust also are made manifest in your conscience." But the point I wanted to get is, knowing therefore, the the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, because we understand, right? We understand, um, you know what's to come. It is a fearful thing. Things. I think it's Hebrews. I know it's Hebrews 10, 31. Yeah. It says it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Right? And we understand. Right? We listen, when you read any scriptures and you see how the Lord get down and how he executes judgment and all that, man, you and you have a under a different understanding of how, how things really are and what it's supposed to be and what the Lord is coming to do and the Lord said he doesn't change, man, you, you start fearing, you start understanding the importance of being righteous. You start understanding the importance of your work, doing the work. You start understanding the importance of, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, being sincere by right? walking upright, knowing that the Lord is coming, man. Okay. Let's grab this, man. Said perils. All right. This is second edge nine, eight. It says salt. Shaw, oh, let's get, we got to start up. This is, uh, second edge is 97. It says, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. See, should be saved by your works and by faith. Okay. Right. Whereby ye have believed. And the only ones that's going to have, uh, you know, faith and works is, is the elect and the one third, man. Okay. Two thirds are not going to have any faith or, or, you know, works. And they might say they have works, but the works that they had, you know, was not done properly. Right? It wasn't done in truth and sincerity. You know, these niggas was, you know, mixing uh, uh, doctrines and, you know, and trying to, you know, sell you breakdowns and with a T-shirt and fringes on it and all kind of shit and thinking that. They supposed to be the man and, and not understanding that, you know, when you're really in this thing, 
You understand? You don't really even, that's not even the spirit that you want to have is trying to be the man. Be the man. Yahweh shot the man. You know, we didn't give ourselves this knowledge, man. The Lord said he chose us. We didn't choose him, man. Okay, but guess what? These people walk around as if, you know, the Lord has, uh, you know, chosen them or they seen the Lord in the vision. What's going on? You know, they walk around as if, like, they've seen the Lord, like, uh, hey, leave it unlocked. I'm making a video real quick. They walk around as if, like, uh, they just know it. Like, oh, you know, I know I'm that guy. I'm knowing this. I'm knowing that. I know, man, listen, man. Scripture said what the, 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 the righteous are scarcely be saved. Let me grab this. It's back in Hebrews 10 as well. Let me grab this right quick. This is uh, Hebrews 10 and uh, 35. It says, uh, cast not away therefore your confidence, which have a great recompense of reward. Right to have confidence, you have to have faith. Okay? It says, for ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise see that we might receive the promise man after we have done right if we have done the, the will of the most high okay i watch scripture say what hold what you have until the lord come it says what he that endures to the end let's jump down it says 38 it says now the just shall live by faith but if any man draw back my soul shall have no pleasure in him but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition but of them that believe in the saving of the soul see we're not of them that draw back unto perdition. As a matter of fact, let's get that um, word for the definition for perdition in that joint. Perdition. Strong's G684. Apolia. Apolia. A polia, okay, it says destroying utter destruction of vessels, a perishing ruin, destruction of money, the destruction which consists of eternal misery and hell, see? And we understand that, obviously, it's not talking about, when you hear hell, it's not talking about a fire underground. You know, hell is a condition, and the ultimate hell is going to be here in America. The scriptures say, what, 200,000, thousand missiles to be shot over here, right? To, I mean, it's going to obliterate this place. Scriptures say, what, the earth should rule to and fro like a drunkard. So we're not turning back into the ways of this world, man. Right? We're looking unto the saving, uh, you know, to, to the, we're looking unto the Lord, man. Right? Okay? To deliver us out of this, man. Okay? That's what that is. This is part of my mind. Cares of, is it cares of the world or cares of this life? World. Yeah. Mark 4 and 19. It says, 16, it says, uh, yeah, 16, it says, and these are they likewise, which are sown on stony ground, who, when they have heard the word, immediately received it with gladness. And you see that, right? You men have heard the word and immediately received it with gladness. I was happy, heard the word. Right, jumped up and down because what well, it was sweet as honey, but when they get down to the to the stomach and you come to digest it, it's bitter, man. Because you got to understand the things you got to go through, right? The much wisdom makes the man mad because you start, you know what I mean? You start your mind change, man. You don't start. You start looking at things a lot different. You know what I mean? You start uh, viewing things a lot different. You have a different mind. You, your spirit is different. So the shit you used to like, you don't like anymore. Okay? It says, and have no root in them in the in the things that you used to that the old man used to like was wickedness, man. But when you come into this truth, right, you understand that, man. That's all that is bullshit, man. Okay? And then really you get mad at, at certain things. You're like, man, what the fuck? Like this shit is stupid. You know? But we were once in the world. That's why guess what? That's why we can't be proud, man. You know, but all in all, we got to fear the Lord because the Lord, you know, could 
The Lord, the Lord has his way, man. You know, he does what he wants to do. You know what I mean? So it's just like, man, he's just, our job is just, it should be just to please him, man. Okay. It's Mark 4. And uh, what was that? 17, it says, and have no root in themselves and so endure, but for, for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution ariseth for the word's sake, immediately they are offended. And these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word. In the cares of this world, in the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on, on good ground, such as hear the word, and receive it, and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixtyfold, and some a hundredfold. And it's our job, and this is the man that we have to aim to be, man, not the ones that the seed flew on stony ground, man. Okay, that's why what? Endure until the end. Let's get this real quick. Revelation. What was it? 2 and 25. Yeah, yeah. This is Revelation 2 and 25. It says, Revelation 2 and 25. It says, But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. Okay, it says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter's, of a, of so like as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. All right. So we endure to the end. Guess what? Isaiah sixty. All right. Having these nations in subjection, having these nations in captivity, having these nations under us, and really enjoying life, having true uh, riches. This is what we got to aim for, man. Okay. And what we got to aim for, this is what you, your mind got to be on, man. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, you know. And it's even fearful reading these, reading scriptures like that, man, because it's like. You and it's truth and you've seen dudes that have been in, you know, years, right, and they fall out. You know what I mean? It's just, it's a fearful thing, man. It's just like, man, you know, like goodness, you know, like it's just, that's why you got to pray for mercy, man, you know. Ask for mercy, you know what I mean? You know, it's, it's it's serious, man. Like, you know, I get feet tapping thinking about it, man, you know? So let me grab, uh, what was that? Let me grab this, man. Joel 2. What was that? Joel 2 and 1. I'll grab a couple here and I'll end the video. It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy in my holy mountain and you know that what we, we're, we're blowing up we're, we're uh we're prophesying man right we're prophesying it says let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the glory how it cometh for it is nigh at hand right it says a day of darkness and of gloominess a day of clouds of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains a great a great people and a strong there hath not been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. All right? And our day is going to be like a day like no other, man. Okay? You got to think, man. I mean, people's worst nightmares, you know, are going to come true. Three, it says, A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the Garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yeah, and nothing shall escape them. It says the appearance of them is as the appearance of horses, and as horsemen, so, so shall they run. It says like as the noise of chariots on the top of mountains shall they leap, like the noise of a flame of fire, of a of a flame of fire that devoureth the stubble, as a strong people set in battle array. Right? It, you know, scriptures talk about when you go to Second Edges, the sixteenth chapter. It says that. Uh, an arrow should be shot from one part of the earth to the other part of the earth, and it's going to kindle a fire. It says what? The arrows that he shooteth are sharp, right? And they shall not miss when they begins to be shot into the ends of the world. These arrows are not, these missiles are not going to miss. Man. They're going to hit, they're going to, so the only escape that we have is up, and you people mock and laugh when we talk about so-called UFOs, right? Which we know them as the chariots of the Lord. But when you really think about it and break it down in common sense, where the 
They have a missile that can reach over here in 30 minutes, man. Where the fuck can you go in 30 minutes to, to flee from it? You can't. Now imagine 200 million missiles. Where the fuck you gonna go, man? Okay, people s sit here and play with it like it's something. But where you gonna go? How can you flee? How can you escape? The only way to go is up, and you gotta be part of the elect. You gotta be part of the elect, man, to get salvation. Before their face, the people shall be. Before their face, the people shall be much pain. All faces shall gather in blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march every one on his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. Right? You know they they're not going to break their ranks. They're not going to. Again, they're not going to miss. They're not going to. Uh, you know fail you know what i mean they're gonna do what the lord had these people designed them to do is burn up shit have fire that's the hell that's the second death that's what we want to be delivered out of man okay so with that man lord, lord let me those edifying lonely i can got something from this video i want to give all our praises honor and glory to yahweh by hashimi hawashah by hashimah kakadash one tell you brothers keep pushing on to the next shallow one